Good morning guys, this is literally the earliest I've been up. I can't even remember the last time I was up at 7 o'clock and that's really sad. I'm hoping to get into a earlier sleeping pattern, hopefully after this. So Ty went to bed at like 1am. But anyways, um, yeah, today's the day we go into the dealership and hopefully secure a car. Okay, it's actually looking really nice and clear and plump this morning actually. I just did my skincare, still using the Esme, rolling my face as well. Love it. Yeah, like I said, going there to see if we can secure one. So I don't really have high hopes in case they can't get it, but we just thought we may as well go in there um, first thing in the morning and see what they can do. So yeah, I'm gonna probably have pancakes because I had some yesterday and I made the whole batch and I couldn't finish it all obviously because there's 10 servings in there. So I made the whole batch and it makes 10 supposedly, but I made them into little pikelets. So I made like, I don't know how many I made, almost 20 actually. And I had like six yesterday. But yeah, these are the no shoe sugar free pancake mix that comes just in the tub. Um, and they're actually really nice, but they're very, very filling. So you only really need a few. So I just bought a car. Oh my God. So the one that we wanted was approved to be shipped over. And I got it. And I'm picking it up in a couple weeks from now. I'm so excited. It's on its couple. way from, yeah. Well, it's the end of July. He said August. Yeah, probably end of August. Who knows? Well, hopefully it's sooner. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway. Um, but yeah, super exciting. I can't wait to show you guys. Obviously I'll vlog. I should ask him if I can like <sighs> film in there. Cause what if they're like, you can't do that. Surely I do. Let's get a photo and that's it. <laughs> nah, I'm going to show the vlog. Um, yeah, we're going to go get grilled now and then go home. Maybe we'll get a cheeky champagne to celebrate. <laughs> How pretty is the beach? We haven't been here in ages. Doesn't it even feel like winter? <laughs> well, I pretty much am still. So we just got home and my Kmart order came. If you guys saw my stories, I ordered these for my upper wardrobe storage. So I did end up going the bait. I just thought so I'll just go with everything. And I just wasn't sure like what shade of pink the blush ones were, but these are made to fit those cubes. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Oh, okay, that comes off and it goes in here. I was like, what is that? Well, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Put these together and then sort out my wardrobe. That was a cute little morning intro, wasn't it? I just felt like filming like that in the morning. But um, I forgot that I got this yesterday from Kmart. I just found it in Peter's car while I was packing because um, I, I'm i gonna send the giveaway winner her makeup from my makeup giveaway on my makeup account. But yeah, I just got this for the side of the couch. I'll show you guys when I've done it all properly, but just kind of to put this in there. It's like a little throw basket. This throw I think is from, I think it's from Adairs actually. So I'll fold it up. 
Might just put it on the other side though. You know, just to have a little home for it. Or maybe I will put it on the other side because it's actually quite cute. I don't know, I'll leave it there for now anyways. So today I'm gonna go and do body step actually, which I've never done before at Good Life. I've done body step here like at home when I was in, when we were in isolation and I got a step. I did a few of the Les Mills classes um, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna do that this morning at Good Life and then straight after there's a body balance class. Peter's going to the dentist at 10. Who knows how long he'll be, but then he's gonna go gym after. So I'll have some time to do both classes back to back. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I bought a fucking car yesterday. Like it still hasn't hit me. Maybe because I haven't paid it yet, it hasn't hit me. And I won't be getting it until like mid next month because it's currently in Melbourne, I think. So they have to put it on a boat or however to bring it to Perth. But yeah, I am so excited to have a car and just like be like, okay, I'm going to Pilates. You don't have to go pick me up, drop me off because I just feel so annoying. Cause I like obviously when I want to go like get my nails done, Peter takes me, picks me up. <laughs> um, so I feel like a bit of a burden, even though he doesn't mind, but it's just like the freedom of just being like, okay, I need to go get this really quickly from the shops instead of like dragging Peter, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, he doesn't mind. Like he literally wouldn't even care if I didn't get a car. But I'm like, nah, I want to get a car because I know I just feel like I'm on holiday when I don't have a car. Do you know what I mean? Like, see, so yeah, I'm so excited. And yeah, it's a car that I've wanted for so many years. I would have to say it's, it's my dream car. Like I've always wanted this particular car and I can't wait to show you guys. I'll definitely vlog when I go and pick it up. But yeah, I'm going to go do body step. I'm going to post the giveaway. And then I sold something from Depop as well yesterday. So I'll go post that and I'll, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. Also really quickly before I go, if any of you guys have a Dyson and something's wrong or anything, you can actually just take it directly to a Dyson store if you have it and they can fix it on the spot or replace it. Um, so yeah, like we, this is the floor one. Cause we've got two, one for carpet, one for floorboards and this, just, I don't know, it just wore out and it was scraping against the tiles. So um, someone, I can't remember who recommended for Peter just to go into Dyson and they just literally just put new ones on, like brand new side things. So if you're having the same problem, literally go into Dyson and they'll just replace them for you or if anything else is wrong with it. She also told us how to clean in the inside of it. If that's happening to you and your Dyson heads, and they can literally just replace them for free. Yeah, I got my period this morning. Oh my God, my skin looks so good in this light. <laughs> um, yeah, what the fuck? I did not expect it to come so soon. So I've got this period tracker app. What's it called? Is it Flow? I don't know. If any of you guys have good ones, let me know. Most of the ones that I've found, like you have to pay a subscription for, is that normal? Or is there any like good free ones? Because I don't really care about like tracking ovulation and stuff like that. Like I just want to track when I get my periods. So I don't know if this one's free. I don't know. Um, it's the 28th of July. Let's go save. Okay, day one period. There we go. I just wanted to log when I got it. Virtual assistant, hi. You logged your period. Flo wants to share. Okay. My last cycle was 67 days ago. I don't know why I just expected me to not get my period for six months. Because after reading your comments on my video, my latest YouTube video, so many of you guys said that you didn't get your period for like months, like up to six months. And I, I don't know, I just prepared myself for that. And then when I went to the toilet this morning, I know that's TMI, I was like, the fuck? And then I was like, that can't be right. And yeah. It's not like heavy, it was just like spotting, but obviously heavy enough to put a tamp in. <laughs> I really hope guys aren't watching my videos because honestly, imagine if Peter saw this and listened to me say that, he would vomit. <laughs> the car open. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, got my period. Yeah, like really random because I didn't like have any cramps or anything last night or like within the last few days. So I found that really random. Um, but yeah, that's good. Like, honestly, who wants period 
cramps and pains. So I'll just keep you guys updated if I have any cramps or anything. But it's nothing like full on. Like it only lasts a couple seconds. Like, but it is, it's probably the worst I've ever felt pains before. A couple of you guys said when I'm at the doctor's next to check for endo. I don't think I, I would have endo because I've never really... I guess I'm not going to say I don't have it because I don't know, but we'll just, we'll see. Anyways, Peter's here. We're going to go. So I will chat with you guys later. Oh my God. So I just did two sessions at the gym. I did body step and oh my God, it was intense. I didn't realize it was going to be like that because I think when I used to do body step at home, um, I did the 40, did I do the 45 minute sessions and they weren't as high intensity as that? Like that was hectic. It was 30 minutes and I was dying. Like I think I hit my max heart rate. I've honestly burnt 800 calories already and it's just 12 o'clock active calories. That's crazy. That means I can eat more today. <laughs> I just went to the post office and got a few parcels so I thought I'd open them and I also went to Woolies to get a few things. I wanted to try the new Colgate Optic White Renewal. Um, I've seen ads for it everywhere, like literally everywhere. So I was like, whatever, and it was half price. Um, I just got some more toothbrush heads for my um, electronic toothbrush and just got some of these. I use these for when I floss and I also use, I couldn't find them just then, the little tooth pickers. I know that's gross. Peter finds it so gross when I like pick my teeth or floss, but I'm like, dude, you have to floss. Um, yeah, he just finds it gross sometimes when I'm using like a toothpick and stuff, but like I can't help it. I hate food getting stuck in my teeth, especially in my retainer. So I'm always like picking food out of my mouth and like that's normal, you know? But um, yeah, I just got these two. They're recommended by dentists. Um, Peter actually just went to the dentist before and she recommended for him to use these in between his retainers and his teeth. But I was like, what the hell is the difference between these? This one's $3, like a random brand, all smiles, 10 brush heads thingies. And this one's $7.50. Why is it like more than double the price and you get 10 exactly the same size you're just paying for the brand so i wanted to see what the difference was because why would i spend seven dollars when i can spend three dollars so i got them two to try out oh my god my battery is dying let's go real quick okay i don't even know where that cut off but i know what this one is it's a blackhead clearer pretty sure it's from jolie beauty jolie beauty yeah um, they sent me this, so I'm super keen to try it out. So thank you guys so much. But yeah, basically it's an electric blackhead remover and it's got like sort of similar to that microdermabrasion kit, but I think this one's more of a probably like a stronger suction. But yeah, literally blackhead remover. I've got so many on my chin, so I'm going to give that. I'm actually really excited for that. I find it so satisfying when you do this stuff and then you can actually see all the dead skin and like everything come out of the top. So I'll definitely try that out and let you guys know how I go. Peter's still at the gym. Oh my God, that scared the fuck out of me. A crow just flew over the car. Oh, cute. They're minty Lano stick lip balm. Super cute and some minties, which I won't be having, but I'm guessing it's a minty, yeah, a minty scent yeah i don't really have that much to do today like nothing really planned i think i have a meeting with my management later on this afternoon but my shipping boxes didn't end up coming yesterday i don't know what happened if they were delayed or not but it's stuck at the airport so i think they're just waiting on i think it's fedex or dhl to ship it to me so hopefully fingers crossed this week but they sent my second lot yesterday so in total i'm getting like 14 boxes hmm that actually does taste like minties like the lolly uh yeah so i might actually i don't know maybe do a makeup tutorial or something like that i'm lost for what i should be posting on youtube because i just like i'm always vlogging and i feel like i prioritize my weekly vlogs over other content so let me know what you want to see in terms of youtube videos Maybe like another Q&A. 
maybe like a what I eat in a day. Let me know what you want to see apart from my weekly vlogs. But I feel like I just share everything like on here. So it's like hard for me to come up with new ideas except for like clothing hauls and stuff like that, which I always do. But yeah, devs, let me know what you want to see from me and I will speak to you guys when I get home. Good afternoon, everyone. Didn't vlog this morning, but had the same old. I had, what did I have for breakfast? Banana and peanut butter on toast. I got my Stax parcel just then. I went and picked it up, so I thought I would show you guys. I also got this as well from a lovely girl that sews, and she made these little um, reusable food, like food pouches for when you're shopping, so you don't have to use the plastic ones. So that's super cute. I'll definitely take those along with me when I'm shopping next. And then these gorgeous scrunchies. So they're from Peony Stitch on Instagram. So thank you so much. So sweet. How cute is this? Ooh, socks, Vito socks, yellow and lilac. These, I think they did make amendments on the hoodies and make them a bit shorter. I think these are just the same the joggers which I actually love and I sleep in because they're so warm so they've got that color and then they've got oh my god that's actually so nice in real life this lilac color in their best black tight I know I say best black tight but this is just like their material so nice and then I think there's another package coming with the rest of the stuff with the lilac hoodie but this is the oversized hoodie and like i said they have made these a little bit shorter to the gray and black ones that i got um last time they dropped oh, i really hope this is in focus they sent me an extra small so this is actually a size down to what they sent me in um yeah in the black and gray so i'll try it on by the way, wearing stacks, I'm wearing their strappy crop. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend this for high intensity training just because it is like, it's not as supportive as the, like the racer back one. So that's what the back of this one looks like. But these are just like staples that they have on their website all the time. I love them though for weight training. And they look super cute as well. So this is the extra small. Let's hope there's still stock when I post this video because I feel like it's going to sell out. And they're not restocking this collection. It's limited edition. Okay, that is so much better for me. Because I find that with the oversized um, hoodies, I always, like, I don't wear them long as they are. But these are still long. Like, they go past the ass. But when I'm wearing hoodies, like, I'll wear it like this. And this is just such a better fit. So that's the yellow color. And then I'll show you guys the um, lilac when it comes. But a couple weeks ago, they did also come out with um, new colors, which is like a staples. Like they're not, um, these are limited edition. So again, in the best black tight material, we've got charcoal. And then, oh, now I have the matching crop to my tights. So the strappy one, which looks like that. And the, this is the other one that I was talking about. So this one has a little bit more support if you've got bigger boobs. So yeah, these are in the navy, the charcoal, white, and the black. And the khaki, which I don't have, I don't think. I think the khaki ones are coming in the next shipment. But yeah, I'll definitely do a little try on on my Instagram stories. But yeah, this purple. Oh wait. I got one khaki crop, this one, so nice. I get size small in everything and I find they fit really well, even in the leggings and the bike pants and in the joggers, I get a size small. Okay, wow. Can I just say, oh my God, I still need to do that. I'm actually gonna do that right now, otherwise I'll forget. And I keep saying I need to clean my mirror. Be right back. Cause literally if I don't do it, right now it will not be done back in action 
as I was saying, this monochrome collection is life. Like the trackies I've been wearing to bed actually, like when they sent me their black and gray, I've been obsessed with them. I wear a size small. You can roll them like I have. I usually like that look. Like I don't just do it to make them smaller at the waist. Like I just like that look. But this is what the size looks like on me, the small. So it does have quite a bit of room around the waist. I just love loose fitted high waisted trackies because it gives the illusion of a smaller waist. Like when, when it's not really tight fitted. Love that. But yeah, I like to roll mine. And then this is their lilac strappy crop. So I was wearing the strappy navy to the gym this morning. The thing I love about these is not that I need to, but if you're a mum and you're breastfeeding, you can simply just take these off, breastfeed, and then clip them back on. And they're also adjustable as well. So if you did want some extra support, you can tighten them. I usually keep mine like, I think I'm in like the middle range like I don't like them super tight but they're not super loose so let me just put that the only way I can um describe the material of these is lululemon aligned like if you guys have them it's basically the same <laughs> like pretty much um but yeah this is the lilac crop and I've got their socks which is by their new brand which is just on sacks I'm pretty sure called Vito but yeah, they're super cool. I just love this combo. I actually had this combo in my braces. <laughs> um, my favorite combos were purple and um, yellow and then pink and green. Like, you know, when you could get your colors changed in your braces. Anyways, um, today has been pretty chilled. I haven't really done much. I've just caught up on a lot of admin like emails and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, clearly I haven't been doing any like content or anything today. Usually like I have days where I plan content, so like that's when I do my hair and makeup and like I make sure I have a fresh tan on. By the way, um, I have tried that Isle of Paradise tanning water and I actually really like it. I put it on two days ago just on the top half of my body because I CVF tanning and yeah, it came out really, really nice. Like not streaky or patchy, so yeah, and I just left it on. I put it on after my shower and then I took it off when I showered next. Like I didn't even like wash it off because it's not something to wash off it's a gradual tanning water so yeah i really like it so i'll definitely be using that in between tans or when i can't be bothered tanning um what was i saying yeah so usually like i have set days where i film heaps of content so mainly when i get like clothes or stuff that i need to post or if i have like a clothing haul i'll make sure i do them all in that one day so i'll film the haul and then take as many photos as i can but yeah today is my like admin emails day i guess a bit of editing gonna do my website a little bit more i know i keep saying working on the website but it's actually a lot more work than you think and i always learn something new about shopify every single time i go on so if you can't do something there's like all these add-ons and apps that you can get to integrate into your website for example if you want a pop-up or if you want um at the checkout to say don't forget to grab this or something it's all like an add-on slash plug-in so it doesn't come with the theme that you buy if that makes sense like I'm always learning so much new stuff about like the back end side of things okay the website that I never even knew about um, and I often do get messages asking like how did I learn like how did you make this business without any like background knowledge or like I didn't do any courses or anything like that um, literally Google like I have just been Googling everything and I know that's such a broad thing to say, but that's just how I, I learned. I have asked um, Stacks a few questions, but honestly, like their answers I can just find on Google. Like it, it's literally all there. You just have to do the research. It's with anything really. Um, but yeah, that's literally what I've been doing on how I have, build this business from nothing obviously there's so much you need to learn um but yeah like I do I feel like I have some sort of like insight or idea on how a business works just because I work for myself but yeah like it's not as hard as you may think setting up a business so the hardest thing is probably finding a manufacturer that you trust and you like that's probably the hardest that was the hardest part for me 
Um, I thought the hardest part would be the website and all of that. But that's probably the easiest. Um, and then everything else is fun, like designing your packaging um, and all of that. I, I found really, really fun. Like I love my packaging and have enjoyed designing it. But yeah, I would say the probably the toughest part is finding a manufacturer, which you can literally find on Google. I just Googled it. I think my first search was, my very, very first search was, I think, jewelry manufacturers in Australia. Not gonna lie, I didn't really have that much luck. I mean, there is some, but not custom. So I did find a few, but it was just based on like their catalog, not so much, um, like they couldn't design, like if I drew up something or if I sent them a file of a design, they couldn't do that. So a lot of custom jewelry manufacturers I found were overseas. And you'll see that as soon as you Google jewelry manufacturers, like so many websites will come up and then you just keep going from there. You have a look at like their website and what they've done previously or if they have examples. It's kind of like when you're just on your phone, like looking at something and that'll lead to something else. And then you're doing something else and then that'll lead to something else. And then you're on like five different websites and profiles within the matter of time. That's just how I've found the manufacturers. Like obviously it takes a while because obviously the first menu, like the first website you go on, you're like, you're not going to go with that. You got to do a little bit of research. You need to compare, compare prices, get a few samples. Um, not like heaps, but you need something to sort of compare to um, and just go from there. And I feel like you just know when you found someone that gets you, understands your vibe, especially, um, you, you'll just know who to go with. And I'm not saying that for jewelry, I'm saying that for anything. Um, yeah, you just know um, that sort of stuff when the time comes or when the time is right. So. Yeah, I always get messages about how I've started a business and I definitely will when I feel like I can educate people on business, I will do a video on it. Like I'm so happy to help, like honestly, so happy to help. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's literally what I've done. I've just Googled absolutely everything, forums, lots of forums, um, Shopify have, like if you're struggling on Shopify and not knowing like how to use things or how to do it. There's like lots of free um, support links and forums for that. But I feel like Shopify was overwhelming at first. I was like, fuck, I've never done a website before. Never done a blog or anything to do with a website. Actually, no, I lied. I had a Wix website, but someone actually made it for me. So I didn't actually design that. Remember when I had that random website, basically promoting my makeup artistry business when I was doing freelancing. I got a lady to do my website up and basically she did all the back end things. Like I couldn't really edit anything or add anything. I had to ask her to do it. So yeah, I literally had no experience, but from what I have heard and seen, a lot of businesses use Shopify. Actually, fun fact, Jeffree Star Cosmetics uses Shopify for his um, website. Yeah, definitely recommend Shopify. Did I say Spotify before? I, I feel like I said Spotify, but I mean Shopify. It's kind of like getting a new iPhone or Apple Watch or software or app and you like go in and you're like, how the hell do I use this? Like it just comes with just using it every day and like finding stuff out for yourself. I feel like that's the same with Shopify because when I first started, I was like, Okay, I'm going to need to Google everything. But like as you kind of like look around, play around, you just kind of like, oh, okay, so that's for that. That's how I customize the colors. You kind of just, it just happens. And I feel like you always are learning as you go in business. Like I learn every time I sit down and I'm doing something, whether it's on Shopify, I feel like with business, you're always learning. Um, and even if you do make a mistake or... If something doesn't go to plan, you've learned from it, so you can improve on that. Like, don't, it's not gonna be perfect the first time around. Like, I may find faults in my packaging. Maybe when I go to pack, I'm like, fuck, I should have made this bigger, or I don't know, I, fingers crossed, it's all right. But like, you know, there'll be little things that you're like, shit, I fucked up on that. But you just learn from that, 
and you move on and that's how you can improve. So for me, I'm just taking it as it is, going with the flow and seeing if it works out, starting small and hopefully leveling up. Who knows where I'm going to end up in the next couple of years? Who knows what my little jewelry business is going to become, but I'm super excited for the future. Yeah, that's all I have to really say. I'm going to go and learn some more stuff. Um, I'm just in the process of actually integrating all of my shipping and stuff via, what's it called? Star Ship It, which is an additional website that you can link to your Shopify that automatically import all of your orders. So um, you can just straight away print off all of your shipping labels via that. So I do also know a few businesses that use Starship It. If you're an upcoming business, I would definitely write that down and do some research on that because I've heard really good things about it. Um, so yeah, that's called Starship It. I just subscribed for a year for that so i'll see how it goes and obviously let you guys know but i yeah like i said i know a lot of businesses that use that integrative shipping software um and yeah i have spoken to a few people that have it and they said it's amazing it's so easy it makes shipping 10 times easier so um obviously if you are a smaller business and you're not expecting um quite a large volume of sales i don't think that would be necessary at the start but i feel like when i launch I feel like I would get quite a few, so I don't want to be um, overwhelmed or find it difficult to sort through and pack the orders. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided to go with that option for shipping. Um, so yeah, I will obviously like, like I said, with experience, I will do like a dedicated video. Or I'll just, I'll literally tell you along the way as I'm learning new things. Let me know if you like this kind of content on my vlogs. Some may think it's really boring. Some may find it interesting. I will happily share, but if it's boring, <laughs> then let me know. Um, but yeah, I find it interesting. Like whenever people talk about business, I'm very intrigued. Or if someone's um, posting stories or a vlog about like business and behind the scenes, I find it really interesting. That's why I love watching the TikToks on small businesses when they're packed. Like I just, I find it really satisfying when they're packing orders or they're just talking about tips and tricks on how they built their business or Shopify um, tips and tricks. I, a lot of that content comes up on my TikTok and I really enjoy it. So hopefully you guys don't mind me speaking about it. But yeah, I need to do some stuff. I need to reply to a few emails actually, which I was supposed to do this morning, but we'll get there. Um, and yeah. That's all I have to really say. Hope you have a good day. It's 3.26. I just had the Fro Pro yogurt and the granola that I just got. Oh, did I show you guys? I got the Eat With Love by Samira granola again. I just had that and I had a carrot, two carrots, two small carrots. So that's all I felt like. It's so weird. Like I had the weirdest food craving. And then I just had a coffee and that's all I've had. I probably will have steak for dinner tonight, but yeah also speaking of business um i also got the they're called cad files cad files i don't know what program they use the jewelry manufacturing bloody program i don't know um for my second collection i just wish they were coming out with the first collection but obviously we're just in sampling now still so i've got i've received two designs so far that I was going to include in my first shot, but I was like, nah, I wanted to all like flow together in like a collection. I'm actually not wearing a necklace, which is weird. I just measured my Arabic one, but, um, yeah. Oh my God. You guys are going to love it. Um, that's all I have to really say it. I, I just can't wait to wear it myself. Like I just want them <laughs> to wear, like, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, that's, gonna be so freaking cute like you guys are gonna die anyways i'm not gonna talk about second collection when the first collection hasn't even dropped yet um i don't have a date yet my packaging was meant to arrive two days ago but there is major major shipping delays from overseas because i'm getting it done overseas and yeah i think i'm gonna have to wait until 
she said hopefully Friday, if not next Monday. So yeah, that's just that's just how it is. Um, but my jewelry will be finished by the 7th of August. So as soon as that gets shipped, 7th, 8th, probably be here within like four to five days. So realistically mid, mid August, but I've always said that. So yeah, I'm gonna go now, stop boring you. Chat to you guys later. I also put together the massive giveaway that I had on my fitness account. So it's all active wear and then the food and stuff. So this 15 kilo, box is going to a girl I thought she was from New Zealand because in her bio it says New Zealand but I don't know maybe she's from New Zealand and she lives in the Gold Coast but anyways she's from the Gold Coast so I'll be sending that off to her tomorrow but yeah 16 kilos of goodies um, but we are making sweet potato chips because I saw it on TikTok so I pretty much cut them up like this Drizzled some olive oil and some spices on top. I've put them in for like 15 minutes on 180, but I'm going to turn them probably halfway and see how they go. But I want them to be crunchy. So we'll see how they go. And then I just made my favorite salad, which I haven't made in a while. It's just got feta, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, cucumber, red onion, and cherry tomatoes. So freaking good. Yum. How good does that look? So they're the sweet potato little crisps. They didn't quite crispen up, <laughs> but something different. And then the salad and then the steak right at the air fryer. How good. Packaged up. This is so heavy. I don't actually have thick tape to secure it. So hopefully Whoa. the post office. You scared the fuck out of me. Hopefully they can secure it. But that's the big giveaway, and then that's just a Depop parcel. I'm wearing the. I'll show you guys when I get the rest of the monochrome collection. But this is the khaki best black tight range. I wear a size small in all of the bike pants and leggings, but I love these, and I'm just wearing. Actually, yeah, I'm wearing the Stax bra and then I just have like a pretty little thing. One of those like slinky t-shirt crops on underneath. I probably won't take it off because it gets pretty cold in that room. But yeah, definitely need these in your life. If you don't have the best black tights, you haven't lived. Just got back from Pilates. I went to drop off the um, giveaway winner. Got some parcels. I'm pretty sure this is the lilac. Well, fairly sure that this is the lilac set. Yes. I'm going to wear these when I get home. Wow. Ooh. Too Faced new virtually banished pores. Primer and mattifying face powder. That's a bit cool. Thank you so much. Oh my God, look how cute my nails are. This camera does not do it justice, but those little stickers are so cute. How cute is the color? I had to get it to match <laughs> my trackies that I'm wearing. That's that side and then this side. So cute. I love the shape as well. I, I don't normally go for like a rounded look, but I'm super clumsy and I feel like my nails last so much longer when they're this length and shape. But yeah, I go to Luna Nails in Perth. She's freaking amazing. Okay, for dinner, I'm attempting... I saw it on someone's story. I can't, oh, I can't remember whose it was, like a couple days ago. Anyway, she used a low-carb wrap, which is what I'm using as well. And then the filling is shredded feta and halloumi a bit of onion she may have put garlic in it as well actually but just sorry with spinach so like a whole handful of spinach i cooked that separately in a little pot with some onions um i probably could have put garlic in there as well 
some shredded halloumi and feta and then I'm just grilling it until it's kind of firm. I don't think these wraps go hard though because they're made of like psyllium husk and stuff like that so they're quite flimsy but I'll just wait a little bit until it's completely cooked on the inside but how good does that look? I think it's a Greek dish. I don't know what it's called but I saw it on like I said someone's story and I was like that looks so good I'm gonna try and make it so yeah and then I've just got some chicken breast here but I'll let you guys know how it tastes morning it is the day that Stax launched their monochrome I'm wearing the lilac hoodie and the charcoal tights honestly thank you guys so much for using my code seriously so freaking lucky um, for those that don't know, obviously with Stax, I'm an affiliate, so I generate a really small percentage of each sale for those that use my code. And all influencers that work with Stax have their own code. So if you put their code in, they earn. If you put my code in, I earn. So I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me, as well as Stax, because they're an amazing brand. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, because without you guys... I wouldn't be doing these daily vlogs or being able to do these daily vlogs and freaking vlogging my life. So thank you so much for always using my code. It honestly means the absolute world. Like you guys have no idea. Um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly give you guys a shout out and seriously, I can't wait for you guys to get this collection. Like this hoodie, I freaking love it so much. I actually slept in it last night because I was that comfy. I was like, I'm so warm. I'm sleeping in it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I just made a coffee. Well, half a coffee. I still need to warm up the milk. And I think I'm just going to have oats this morning. Um, I don't have any more bananas. So, let's do this. Yum. So good. My coffee is so weird. Like sometimes it's frothy. Even when I shake it, sometimes it's just flat. But that one was a frothy one. Yum. Hey guys. So, okay, I can explain why I haven't been as active as I normally am. But I have been literally non-stop. Like non-stop this whole week. I've been obviously preparing for the launch and the packaging which was meant to be here last week is still delayed and I'm freaking out even though I shouldn't be freaking out because the company that they've sent it with which is FedEx haven't updated their shipping status so it just says pending shipment which like gives me anxiety not knowing like where it is but my manufacturer did say that there is light delays which is super annoying um, because I thought this week was going to be the week of planning my packaging, setting it all up, um, and just making sure it's all ready to go, all the jewelry in their boxes. So when people order, I can just quickly put them in the mailers and that's it. Um, so that's what I was just <laughs> fucking scared me. So yeah, that's what I was planning on doing this week. And obviously that's just not happening. Um, so she sent my second shipment. Like I literally have 14 or 15 boxes full of stuff. Um, so she sent my second shipment off with DHL, which is what we normally use when she ships my samples and my jewelry or whatever. And I love DHL because you can track everything so easily online, but with FedEx, like they're just not updating their shipping online. Like it's super frustrating and like... I don't know, it's making me a bit anxious because I don't know where my package is. Whereas DHL, there's always updates. Like, as soon as it lands somewhere, it's departed, it's been received. Whereas just there's just no updates whatsoever. And she did send it a week ago. On Monday, it'll be a week. So, yeah, I've just, I don't know. She said she's called and said that they are experiencing... Holy shit, I was like, why is that so itchy? Um... Yeah, they are experiencing delays because some flights have been cancelled or like delayed due to coronavirus still. I swear to God, coronavirus is going to be the death of me. So yeah, that's just why I've been kind of like <laughs> stressing this week. And I just haven't been 
pulling out my camera when I've been doing stuff. But yeah, today, actually yesterday I went to the gym and I met up with a PT that works from Good Life. So we've been chatting and we're going to get in two PT sessions a week again. I'm super excited. If you know me, I get bored of doing the same thing. The only thing I haven't gotten bored of is Pilates. Like I still do that two to three times a week or one to three times a week. Um, I did it twice this week, but um, I think I'm going to go tomorrow morning as well. But yeah, I'm just going to change it up a bit. Um, I still love my body pump and like my body balance and stuff like that and still try and do them in between my PT sessions. But I just, I just, I just missed it. Like I missed doing PT when I was on the Gold Coast with Mia. So yeah, I found someone really amazing um, to train me basically twice a week. So you, you'll be seeing that on my stories but I'm behind and I haven't actually um, started editing this vlog that you're watching right now. Obviously, I've edited it already, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. But usually I like to edit throughout the week. Um, so then when it comes Saturday and Sunday, I can kind of like relax and not film as much because everything's done. But that didn't happen, did it? Because I had so much on. But um, yeah, that's just a little update of my life. Very, very frustrating. But everything happens for a reason. It'll get here when it gets here. There's no point stressing or like panicking over something that's out of my control. So yeah, that's just what I've been doing. Um, Peter's just gone to get a haircut. We're going to go get Nando's tonight. And for those that always ask me what my Nando's order was, when I was on keto, I'd um, order the Mediterranean salad. So that came with cucumber, tomato, feta, avocado, bacon, and then chicken tenders. Um, that's what I like. That was my go-to meal on keto. And now, actually, you know what? Last time I went to Nando's, I got that plus sweet potato fries. But they do have a, is it called Super Fuel? It's like a quinoa mix salad, which is really nice. But the only difference is I think it's got sweet potato fries in the salad. And it doesn't have bacon or avocado. But I think it has everything else from memory, but I think I prefer the Mediterranean salad. It's so good. So I'll probably get that tonight with some chicken and some sweet potato fries. But yeah, sorry I haven't been posting like I normally have the past couple days. I just haven't had anything to post about because nothing's been happening. Um, I don't get my car for the next couple weeks. So it's just boring <laughs> pretty much. I just don't really have anything to update you guys on. But when I do, you guys know you're the first to know pretty much. Um, but yeah, like I said, if it goes to plan and if I do get the shipment this week, then launch will be sooner than you think. If not, like it's honestly out of my control. I can't ship the jewelry without the packaging. I've got half the jewelry already waiting on the other half that'll be done this week. But it's just the packaging that I'm waiting on. So yeah, bear with me guys. That's just a little update. I feel really silly with this hair because my hair is quite short. And I feel like when people do this hairdo, they've got like hair down here. So I'm going to have to get a ponytail, I think, to put in just to give me some more volume. But I will chat with you guys later. Hey guys, happy Sunday. So got up this morning and did a Pilates mat work class. And we've just been cleaning the house. I still have so many clothes that I just don't want to let go of that I just need to. I just need to... Let go of some that I've had for years that I've brought over and I'm just like, I'm going to wear it, but I just really don't think I will. So Peter's helping me put some more clothes up on my Depop. Bless him. Um, so yeah, this is the current sitch at the moment. You're so cute. <laughs> I've got all those clothes there. Um, but yeah, they'll be on my Depop pretty much today. So they'll probably be already up. Um... But yeah, organizing everything in the house, just like making room for when all of my packaging and stuff come um, so I can have as much room as possible. But yeah, that's pretty much what our day has consisted of. I need to go through all of that on the bed. Yeah, there's nothing really much to update you guys on. I think I might even, because I did a fresh tan last night, I might even just finish off taking a few product shots that I need for the website. So I'm going to have like a sizing chart for rings, necklaces, and huggies. So I want to make it really clear what the comparison is between each necklace size and huggy size. So I've already done the huggies and I've done like a picture of the 8, 10, and 12 just to see what they look like on the lobe and then... When I get my next 
when I get the next bulk order, I'll have more of the colors of the other sizes so I can play around and put them in like different parts of my ear so you guys can see for reference. Um, and as well as the necklaces as well, I want to do like put all of them on my chest so you guys can see the difference in the 14 to 16 inch necklaces and then the 18 to the 20 inch necklaces because I'll have two different sizes to cater for everyone and if there is demand for longer necklaces I'm more than happy to do so because yeah I can pretty much get any size um that I want so for example this is the nine karat gold necklace on the nine karat gold charm um, and also just to note, I, I know I'll do a separate video and like go through everything. Only the 9K charms can fit the 9K necklaces because they're made a bit differently. So you won't actually be able to slide on the um, gold plated or the sterling silver charms on the 9K necklace. So if you're wanting to get a necklace and a charm for the necklace, then it has to, it has to like match the material if that makes sense. Um, it's just because the nine karat gold necklaces are made a little bit different, so their latches are a bit bigger, um, and they weren't able to make them smaller like the plated necklaces and the sterling silver necklaces. I'll go through that again in a video so you guys aren't confused. But um, yeah, so I'm wearing the 14, I wear personally the 14 to 16 inch necklace because I like this length on me. So I'm wearing it at 16 inches, um, and then there's another latch which is like about that. And then the 14 sits probably there, like just in that little socket. So that's my personal preference when it comes to wearing necklaces. But then again, I'm going to be having the 18 to 20. So probably the 18 goes down to there and then the 20 down to there. But I'm going to do photos today of a comparison of the two so you guys can see if you guys are confused. As well as obviously, I'll convert it into centimeters as well. But I don't know, throughout this whole um like manufacturing process we've just been speaking in inches so it's just normal for me to say 14 to 16 inches even though that is like a very american term i'll definitely have like the conversion to centimeters on the website as well if that's what you go by when you got um when you buy necklaces but yeah for reference i wear the 14 to 16 inch necklaces all the time that's all i've been wearing um but yeah i'll definitely have that other option as well so that's what I think we'll do after we've done all the photos and yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. Okay, so I'm just sitting down to edit my vlog. Oh, why did I turn that off? I just realized I didn't even show you guys my wardrobe. So, oh, it's a bit messy. I just don't know what to fill in the gaps. So I'll show you guys what it looks like so far. So I'm so happy with it. I actually did a little TikTok on it. So yeah, they're the felt storage. It fits so much stuff. Like I have, I feel like I've got so much spare room. They're just my KKW perfumes. And then I, I just didn't know what to put in the squares, to be honest. Just some like, I don't know, I got them from my office. Probably going to replace that. It's a bit ugly. Um, and then these are all like for my bags. And then, yeah, the other side as well. Like still don't know what I'm going to put up there. Um, I also got, I think I'm going to need another one of these. They're from Ikea, but I think I'm just going to get two of the same felt ones. So these are also from Ikea. They're just drawer organizers. I actually have them for my socks and stuff, but I might get two of them to match that. But I just thought temporarily I'll just put it there. Um, they're not sure what's going on. Like I just always keep my coins there, but this is just one of the lights. And then I don't even know why they're there. Um, I've just got my little reed diffuser which i might flip actually because it's been a while but yeah that's what it looks like so far when i posted on tiktok so many people said oh my god they're gonna fall on your head like be careful make sure you screw them down okay so these are literally like sturdy like cubes like it's not just i feel like people think it's so flimsy or like shit quality because it's from kmart but they're literally like like, I'm actually tugging at it, and I don't even have anything heavy on the bottom. Um, they're not going anywhere. They actually are quite heavy to put up there. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Peter had to do it. I actually had to help him do it. So there's just no way that they're going to fall. Like, absolutely no way, especially when I don't have anything heavy on the top. And all my, like, heavier stuff will always be in the bottom. So... Yeah, that's just nothing to worry about. Like, they aren't... They literally... Like, I'm... 
Like I'm literally putting a lot of force in. Uh, see, I can't even like pull them back now. Um, so yeah, they're definitely not going anywhere. <laughs> so before anyone comments on this video or if they're worried, they're not going to fall on my head or anything like that. But yeah, that's what they look like. I'll show you guys my full wardrobe. So as you walk in, da 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 da. And there it is. I just had to keep my print at the back there because, I don't know, I think it looks kind of cute. But yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the end of the vlog. I'm probably just going to end it now so I can start editing it or finish editing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully next week is a more eventful week and I have more exciting things planned. But that's just my life. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Really quickly, before we end this video, I just heard the news about Victoria and their stage of lockdown at the moment. And honestly, I'm just like sending my hugs and wishes to you all. You got this. I know it sucks. I'm saying that I'm going to start posting more at-home workouts and stuff like that. If you want to see some in my vlogs, what sort of style workouts do you want to see or what do you want to see from me? Um, I'll try my best to accommodate to what you want to see. Hopefully this is the last time and hopefully this is what's going to make a change to lifting all of these lockdown laws. But I just want to say my thoughts are with you guys. Also, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My DMs and my messages are always open. I actually reply more than you guys think. I always like set aside a few hours when I'm on the couch or when I'm in bed and go through my DMs and answer some questions or just reply. I just get the nicest messages from you guys. So yeah, my DMs are always open if you guys want to chat, but I just wanted to send my love. Hopefully this is going to be over sooner rather than later. But yeah, I just wanted to add that in in the end. We're all in this together, so hopefully this is the last of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. Again. <laughs>